Whenever I'm in the dumps, I come back here and it reaffirms everything that I think is really good and generous about this country. And to have some kid come up who's been in the hospital for six months out of the year and say, this place, this to come back here is what I live for. My condition, primary pulmonary hypertension. My lungs can't open like um, yours. I had chemo and it made my hair go away. And I had to get a bone marrow transplant, a bone marrow biopsy, an x-ray, and an operation. This summer I discovered that I had Hodgkin's disease. Well, you know, you hear everything about cancer, and especially your, your, one of your, your children. That's, that's what's so hard. Why not me? to get chemo and I had to get shots. We went to the hospital and they did a bone marrow aspiration and said that, um, that it was leukemia. These children suffer pain and they suffer in ways that you and I never will. And yet they're kids, they're just children, you know, they shouldn't have to do that. When I had my second heart surgery, my parents were talking to one of the nurses, and they said, oh, there's this camp called Bucky Creek that I'll, I'll invite you to this next year. What makes Boggy Creek unique is the fact that this is a camp for kids who could not go to another camp. All these children are so uh, ill and have so many medications that there's no way that any other camps are going to accept these children. We have illnesses ranging from cancer to hemophilia, immunology, you know, some kids HIV positive. Uh, we have children who are bound in wheelchairs or crutches. You wouldn't know that there's anything wrong with them the way they run around, sing, dance, smile, jump. They're here just for we are, just to have a good time and to play. Everywhere you look, there's a little piece of magic. When you're with all the other campers and just having fun, you just forget about that you have a disease. Because no one can make fun of me or anything because they're just the same as me. My friends here um, have like problems too and I can talk to them and understand them. They develop friendships with kids who have uh, illnesses and uh, they begin to realize that they're not alone. I have had, I call, it's, they call a window. I had that done and no one else in my cabins had that done. They've all had open heart surgery so it's like really cool. I can talk about that to them and they can talk about open heart surgery to me. When they go to Boggy Creek, they're just like everybody else. And, and they're allowed to be kids. I mean, they can really, really, for that time, be just a normal kid. I can't go home and whine about my life anymore when I come here for a week. Our job description is to make sure each and every one of these kids has the best week of their lives. And I think a lot of times we accomplish that. I see some of the strongest kids I've ever seen with the stuff they've had to deal with and just take it like it's a normal day. We empower them to do things they've never thought they could ever do. That's it, y'all. Family Weekend is one of my favorite programs that we offer here at camp parents uh, talk to each other, they open up and they just share stories with each other. You're instantly family. You know, it's, there's a common thread that runs through all of us. If it weren't through the generous contributions of people putting together Bobby Creek, um, I don't know how a lot of families would be able to cope. That you understand. Overwhelming. Uh, 
um, if it were dependent upon us to be able to provide this for her, our daughter wouldn't be able to attend because we just, we couldn't do it. Just call on me, brother, when you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. Our daughter says that Boggy Creek is the best part of having this disease. And as a parent that deals with an ill child, that's a pretty big gift. When you're not strong. When you're around those kids and you see the terrible suffering that they are going through, and yet you see the love that they share with each other, I come away just rededicating myself to the cause. At school, they try to make fun of me. But at Boggy Creek, nobody says words that hurt your feelings. If you need a friend, come here. My counselor's like grandpa to me. After coming to Boggy Creek, our son Graham is laughing and running and playing, and you know, he's just a different child. At Boggy Creek, there's lots of hugs. When I'm feeling down, I think of Boggy. Because at Boggy, your whole world is just going the way you want it. Think of what a great, great world it would be if everybody out there did their own thing. But then there's just one more thing to help someone else. That's what I ask people to do with Boggy Creek. Do your own thing. But do your own thing plus one and make that plus one Boggy Creek. There's an old saying, you can't help someone up a hill without getting a little bit closer to the top yourself. <laughs>